Chumonda. Perfect. Now I want you to read this area that is bolded. Oh. Yubi no katachi o shita. Hoga honoga sho e nobite iki. Oh, what do you do? No pick the icky. No, we do stretch towards. Hi, the flame. Stretch towards the lock in the shape of a finger. Perfect. Um, let's go read the line from the book. Ma do seki no shiroi. Hikari no yubi ga shoe to nobite iku. The lights, the finger of light, stretches towards the lock, and the light is the white light of the magician, the magical stone. Perfect. Um, so that shouldn't be there, but hokoro ga is a way to say however, on the contrary, or despite. Tokoro ga. So, tokoro, tokoro for that place slash thing, however. Tokoro ga. Hi. Um, do you remember what aku means? Aku. Aku. Is aku? aku is to open. It is to open. What's the negative form of aku? Akanai. Perfect. Let's go read this sentence from the book. Tokoro ga mon wa akanai. The tokoro here, the door does not open. The door did not open. So, tokoro. Tokoro is a word that can refer to a place, but it also refers to time. So, because of this, you can use this to kind of refer to like a previous event. Tokoro. So, speaking of what just happened, which was this Nevani mumbling a magical spell and some white light coming off of the magical rock toward the gate, just like they saw earlier when the gate opened. However, even though that stated condition occurred, we got a ga here. That's our, like, however. So, tokoro ga basically means on the contrary to what you would believe. Because nobody, you know, just did a magical spell. The exact same one he did earlier that did open the gate earlier. This time when he did the magical spell, what happened? The mon wa akanai. The door does not, the gate does not open. Yep, it does not open. Hmm. Can you read this word for me? Shikameru. Hi. Shikameru is to screw up your face. So it's to make a little concentration kind of face. What is the te form of shikameru? Shikamete. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Hey, hey, what? Kao o. Shikameta. The face of the guard grimace. Hi. It it's it doesn't have to necessarily be like totally negative. Like it could be like, you know, like that thinking look on some people's faces where they stick their um, tongue out and do that whole thing. Browns, like it could right? be a grimace. It doesn't have like it doesn't have to it, it's any kind of like like it could be a frown. It's it's just like uh it's the whole kind of like um wrinkling your nose, your brow, your mouth. But it, it doesn't have to be mm. like you're mad or something like that. It's like the concentration look, right? It's the, you know, you're screwing your face in concentration. Like you have a headache. <laughs> you're thinking so hard. Um, Can you read this word for me? Mitsume. Hanasu. Good guess. This is kaisu. Kaisu. Mitsume kaisu. What does that mean? Mitsume kaisu. To return a look. Yes, to return a stare. Perfect. 
So this is the same kanji that shows up in this word. Can you read it for me? Kuri hanasu. Mm. I mean, kaisu. Hai. Kuri kaisu. Kuri kaisu. This is to repeat. So something happens again. Kuri kaisu. What is the te form of kuri kaisu? Kuri kae. It's a su. So kuri kaiste. Hai. Kuri kaiste. Okay. Let's go read the sentence from the book. Neburi wa kao o shikame. Onachi jumo o kuri kaista. Neburi um kind of furrows his 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 face. Right. And the same spell he repeats. Perfect. Um, can you read this word? Okigiru. Okiru. Okiru. Hi. What's the negative form? Oki. Okinai. Okinai. Perfect. Let's go read this sentence. Sore de mo. Nani mo. Okinai. Sore de afterward. Hmm. Sore de mo, however. Hi. Uh, nari mo, nothing occurred. Okinai. Perfect. Yep. So sore de does kind of mean what you said it meant, but then we're adding the mo, so that makes it into more like however. So perfect. Good job noticing that. And I think you knew all that country pretty good. Um, can you read this for me? Utatsu tomo. Perfect. That's tomo. This is just a way basically to say putatsu. It just means that you're indicating two items or things. So even though tomo means together. So it just means both items. So both of the two items is putatsu tomo. Um, do you know how to read this guy? Um, so oku, so oite. Right. Perfect. Um, do you know what skareru means? Skareru. To hand over? Good guess. Tukareru, I'm not sure what to handle is, but I bet it sounds similar. Tukareru is to be tired. Oh, to be Skareta! tired. Ah! Skareru. Ah! We're here a lot in anime. Skareta, I'm tired. So Tukareru is a new verb. It means tired. Oh. Um, I think it has the kanji for skin and water right there. So when you're tired, you sweat a lot. Mm -hmm. Hi. Um, do you remember how to read this word? Uh, I iki. Perfect. Iki. What did iki mean? Breath. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Tame iki. Perfect. So tame iki is a sigh. Um, most of the time you won't be seeing the tame kanji. Um, but that's what it is. Um, so, do you want me to read this word? Kataho. Perfect. Um, let's go read the sentence then. Ore wa ure ga sukarete kita no de. Sukarete was to be tired. Hi. Um, tame iki o suite kaban o futatsu tomo yuka ni oki. Um, tataho no ue ni suari konda. Ore wa ure ga. Sukarete kita no de. Because my arm was tired. Hi. Um. Tame iki o suite. I let out a sigh. Kaban o futatsu tomo yuka ni oki. I place. Um. 
I place both of the bags onto the floor. Ho ka ho ka kata ho no ue ni suari konda. I don't know this one, Moni. So on one so, of the so su suwari comes from suwari. You do know suwari. We have seen this sit. before. To sit. Then we have komu, which you also know. Which means into. So, we, so suwari komu basically means to sit into. In this case, sit on to because of ue. What does he sit on? On the surface. That's correct. But uh, what does cut the hole mean here? What is that referring on one, to? On one side. It could mean one side, but it doesn't really like totally mean that. On what side is he sitting on? One side of what? Is one he sitting of, on sir. the side of the road? The side of the someone's floor? hands? The side of the floor is a good guess. He's actually sitting on top of one of the bags. Kata ho is one of, one of the things. Yeah, one of the bags. Because kata is used when you have pairs of items. Like earlier, mm. we saw one of his eyes. We use or katate, for example, is one of your hands. Is used when you have a pair of items, and we already know that we have a pair of items, which is kaban. So kataho, even though it means one side, you wouldn't really use this with the refer to one side of an object. Instead, you talk about one out of two objects. So which side are you siding on? Out of two objects, basically, is how kataho is. So you have two hands. So one of those hands, or you have two eyes, one of those eyes. So here mm. we have two bags. So you're sitting on one of the bags. So the whole right. is just to say, is saying which side you're siding on when there's two sides to decide. But you need to have two things. So the reason why we know it's a kaban is because kaban has already been defined as two items. And the floor is probably one item as it has not mentioned two sides yet. So you could use it to say to say it on a certain side of the floor, but you'd have to split up the floor beforehand. Like maybe there's a light in the floor or something. Like someone put this tape down. Hmm. Um, hi, hi, hi. So perfect. Um, can you read this word for me? Uh, kiyo tsukeru. Hi. Kiyo tsukeru is kind of similar to kiga tsuku or kizuku. But it has a very different, like, vibe to it. Um, do you happen to know what kiyotsukeru means? I mean, be careful. Yep, to be careful, yep. So it's to attach your attention on purpose. So be careful. <laughs> With, which is a do verb. Um, what is the imperative form and order form? We saw one of these earlier today when you were reading things nobody said. Um, of kiyotsukeru. So it's kiyotsukeyo. Good guess. Kiyotsukeyo is um, volational form. Which means I'm going to. Oh. Here he's ordering someone to do something. You be careful, not I'm going to be careful. You have a second guess? Kiyotsukeyo. Perfect. Kiyotsukeyo. Be careful. Um, Chui is advice or war a warning to me. Um ends with E. Do you know what it started with? Two. As a really random thing, to e has the same kanji as sosogu, which means to pour that we saw earlier with nobody pouring tea today. So mm. I have no idea why this kanji is here. Be careful when you pour the tea. Chui, the tea's hot. Um but yeah it's our mm. two um, can you read the sentence for me? Kiyo tsukero to chui shita. It say, be careful. Uh, pay attention. Hi. Something like that. Hi. What does the chui part mean? Uh, it's a warning. Uh, Hi. Like, I warned. Be careful, I warned. Kind of weird one. sentence. Um, atsukai is a noun. It ends with an e, 
but it's a noun. There to be just confusing for you. So it's it is not an adjective. It is not an e adjective. This is a noun. Meidoshi. Meidoshi. Hi. Hi. Um, and it means handling, like the handling of something. So not the verb. It is a noun. Atsukai. Atsukai. Um, do you happen to know how to read this? Um kata. Atsukai kata. Hi, atsukai kata. So this is the way of handling, the way someone handles something. Mommy, uh, yeah. That noun came from the word atsukau. Yes. So it just turned into the e form. Yes, this is so the stem form. The stem that is form. correct. Um, however, this it so some stem forms are commonly used as nouns, and some stem forms aren't. So, like tabe, for example, is not a commonly used noun. So you couldn't just use tabe when you want to use the noun form of the verb. You can only use tabe in certain grammatical situations where stem form of the nounification is allowed. Well, atsukai is actually a noun noun, even though it is the stem form of a verb. So it's it's like uh so so they so they're both grammatically nouns, but this one's like a noun in the dictionary, while tabe is not a noun in the dictionary. If that makes hmm. sense. Hi. It's it so basically tabe is like a made up noun, while atsukai is a real noun, but they both come from the same type of creating of nounness which is stem form so totally correct um all right so atsuka would be to handle uh anyway caution started with two what did it end with e perfect two e so let's go read this example sentence okasan wa akachan no atsukai kata Oh, chuishita. Hi. So, mom warns. Is she warning somebody? She she's uh chuishita. She's she she she's being like cautious. She's 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 like warning to to have a warning. The, the mother mother is war warned. Be, it, be in this case it means to be careful. Be cautious. Oh, starts to be cautious. It it means like both. Okay, so she Chewy is like warning, alert, notice type of word, and it's to do. So to do a warning. So she cautious of um the handling of the akajan. So she she handles the, the, the baby carefully. Hi. She carefully handles the baby. Yeah. I don't know how to say this. She carefully do the act of handling the baby. Yeah, she handles the baby carefully. I think it's great. Um, okay, so now you get to go read the sentence from the book. Kozo, kaban no aitsu atsukai ni wa kiyotsukero. He say, boy, the uh, handling atsukai ni wa as for the handling of the bag, be careful. Perfect. Uh, Just so you know, ni is kind of what is used with kiyotsukeru. It's the, theoretically, it's the adverb marker of describing how to be careful. Be careful in the way of handling. Right. Hi. Uh, so ni is what's taken. And wa is just the topic marker saying, speaking of being the, the way of handling, be careful with it. So I'm just letting you know grammar wise. Because niwa, there's like three niwas. One of them is wa with ni added to it. Another one's ni with wa added to it. So it can be confusing. This is ni with wa added to it. Um, hi. Be careful in the way of handling the bags. Hi. Neburi ga ore no ho o mi mo shinai de chui suru. So nobody, he cautiously. Um, so in this case, it's like caution, ca cautioning. He, he warns. Cautioning, he cautioning the ore no ho. So my side of things. So what does mimo shinai mean? Mimo shinai is 
uh, doesn't look at me. It, uh, yes. he, he doesn't. Where does he not look? Is he specifically not looking at me or is he not looking in my direction? In my direction. So, so. He doesn't even look in my directions. Hi. As he as does what? He, as he gave the warning. Exactly. As he cautioned me. Exactly. Perfect. Um, yeah. The previous sentence is kind of weird, but it, it does mean the mom was cautious with the baby. So two has, can mean to warn someone or to be cautious. Uh, I guess it's context how you know which is which. Hi. Um, but yeah, hi. Hi. Wakarimashita yo. Yes, yes. I understand. Uh, this sounds sarcastic, just so that you know. Yeah, hi, yeah. hi. Wakarimashita yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> That's what happens when you replete hi twice and you have yo at the end. That, that makes it sound very sarcastic. <laughs> okay. if, if he was saying yes, I understand, it'd be like, hi, period. Wakarimashita. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Can you read this word for me? Tame, tame iki o suite. Hi, hi. What does that mean? It means um, a side, to give a so, side. So, to give a side. How about skaredu mean? Skarete. Skarete is tired. Perfect. So, let's go read this sentence from the book. He's, he's so much like. He's ate a bunch of muffins. Now he's so, tired. And it just sit on one of his bags. He's like, I walked all the way over here. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Oh, this boy. <laughs> He's such trouble. Kona uh, Kaban, this bag. Motte, um, mo. Mm, so this comes from motteite. so it's a motteiru but in te form but the e has been dropped because the main character is thinking right now so when the character like really thinks word a lot of times there'll be more slurring going on than if it's um pure narration from the main character's point of view so this is still not hi hi wakarimashita yo kind of idea where the main character is basically thinking something so even if i'm holding it even if I'm holding this bag, mochi mo i koto nai kedo ne. Chitto mo. Yeah, chitto mo is basically the same as chotto, like, like a little bit. A little bit. I koto nai. It's not okay. Not a good thing. <laughs> not a good thing. Kedo ne. Yep, a bag like this, it's it's not really even a good thing to hold it right now. So the main character says, maybe I shouldn't have sat on the bag, but there's no reason for me to be holding the bag right now. <laughs> it's like, there's, there, there's no good reason for me to be holding the bag when the gate's not opening. But, uh, yeah. However, kedo is like, however, yeah. yeah. However, yeah. 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 So the ne, the ne is like, in this case, like right is like the literal way to translate, but in general, it tends to be more just kind of showing his hi, hi, wakarimashita yo. Ne, it's just kind of filling that human talkingness that's going on here. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you should agree with me, is what ne means. So, right so this, is fine, but I, even if I hold this bag, I, it wouldn't even be good. Yes, exactly. There's, there's it wouldn't nothing. be. It wouldn't even be any good, even a little good. Exactly. Perfect. This kind of kanban, as in this kind of heavy kanban. Mm -hmm. Um, I forgot to make this pink. But do you remember what nozoku means? Nozoku. You know, it's a hard oh. one for you. That's why I grabbed it. Nozoku. What is it? Shin, shinji ni aso o oto. Uh, this is soto o nazaku to nebi no kao ga nutto arawareta. So I am nozokuing into the soto. And when I do so, nebi's kao, it arawaretas. Panic. That's a good guess. That's um, ara, arawareta is to appear. And the panic is um ah what te do. Nozoku is to peak. 
So I peek into outside. I peek outside and Nevity's face appears. Or in other words, I can see Nevity's face. Because all I want to do is like the ability to see happens. You can you can now perceive it. Nevity's face is perceivable once I look into the outside. Hmm. That was all good. Um, do you remember how to read this adjective down here? Uh, it's not omoi. No, it is omoi. You're right. It is omoi. You're thinking about the verb, which is um kasaru. Ah. This is kasaru. omoi. Kasaru. No, I'm not have it right. What is? It? it sounds like kasaru. It's, but it's not kasaru. But anyway, it, this is it is amoi the adjective. So let's go read the amoi. sentence. Wakeda. Hmm. Kataho no ga kaban o akete no soi tara hon ga kitsiri kitsiri. Kitsiri tsumatte ita. Naruhodo omoe wakeda. I have. Mm, what are you saying here? The he he akete. Hi. What is he akete? And then he no soy. Mm. What does akete mean? To raise up. Good guess. That's ageru. We have akeru. The kanji for akeru is the same as aku. Akeru. To close. Mm, that's shimeru. We have akeru here. Open. Hi. What is he open? He opens one of the bag. Hi, because we have two bags. So that's why we have cut the hole. One of the bags. That was one of the bag. And he peeks inside. He knows oh, soy. Oh, yes, yes. And what does Tara mean? And then when he does so. Hi, this is what he notices. Honga gichiri. Gishiri. Gishiri. That's a sound effect. A Gishirito. book. Hi. It, it's what? It, it, it rushed at him? It, what is Good it? guess. Saying? So the book is doing tsumaru. Tsumaru is a word we saw um, last time we met, which was talking about a bookshelf. Well, maybe not last time, a couple times ago. But basically the bookshelf had a buckle, bunch of horns in it as well that were tsumateru. Because tsumateru means to be cramped. To be crammed together. So jishiri is the sound effect of something being snug and tight. So in other words, this kaban has a bunch of books in it. And if you try to pull out a book, you probably can't really do it. If you've ever like done that in a bookshelf and you're like, eh, the book's not coming out. Or you try to pull one out and like three come out with you. That's a gishiri mm. tsumatte ita shodana or hondana. Um, mm. so yeah. Honda. Right. Naruhodo. I understand. Right. Uh, omoi wakeda because it, it's heavy or it's because it's stacked. That's a good guess. So wake is not because. That would be kara. But it is related to kara. What does wake mean? Wake is the intentions of something? It could be used for that. Wake shows reasoning. So it's the opposite of kara. Reasoning is the opposite of the kara so what gets attached kara the sec the sentence that is not kara gets the wake so this is the reason why it's heavy so the reason why it's heavy is that hon ga aru kara right hon ga gishiri tsumatte ite kara omoi mm. so the the book the, the the thing is heavy because there's books in it but it's not heavy it's not because it's heavy there's books in it right so the reason why it's heavy is that there's books in it so the books gets the kara but the reason gets the omoi gets the wake sorry so that's why wake is hard when you um start learning japanese we don't actually translate this most of the time or we translate it as different things but it's always just it's the reason 
behind something. So the reason it is heavy is that it's he- is is that there's books in it. Mm. So, oh, wake. Yeah. So wake ga nai is a phrase that means there is no reasoning. So there's no way to reason something. Reasoning does not exist. But a reason for heaviness? Well, it's because there's books in there. Mm. So basically the main character is like, oh, that's why it's heavy. That's why. So that's why is wake in this context. Narodo, moi wake. Moi wake da. Moi wake. That's why it's heavy. Hi. Moi wake. Hi, hi, hi. Um. Neburi wa mon no mai ni izama. Zuki Kagi Ana O Chito Mitsumete Iru. Perfect. Hiza ma zuki comes from Hiza ma zuku, which means to kneel. Nobody right. kneels in front of the gate. He chito mitsumete iru. He looks into, or he stares into the keyhole. He stares at the keyhole. And is he blinking? Mm, chito, no, he, he's, yeah. he chito it. He stares he's at it. He's being very yeah. still. Hi. Perfect. So yeah, sorry. Uh, We don't have the um corrected things. Do you remember how to read this word? Um... This is show. Show my. Show my. And it is to break. Hi. So it's na. Naburi? Uh, yaburi. So it does sound like neburi. Yaburi. 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 So the breaking of locks. Hi. Perfect. Break the locks. And do you remember how to read this word? This is to normally hide. in Mitsu. Yep. To hide, which is pronounced as what? Nani o uso? Kaku, kakusu, kakuso. Kaku Might have said that. Kakuso? Hi. Um, tokui means um to be satisfied. But tokui. um, it can also mean like your specialty. Tokui. So specialty is the meaning in this context. Like your strong point, what you're good at. Tokui. Tokui. Um, Dai no tokui. Then, right. Nani o nakasu, right? Nakaso. Uh, hi something. Hi. Yep. Nani o kakuso. So, kakuso. do you know what so tells us? In, in the shape of... <laughs> it's, it is a assumption. Lux. So, nani... nani Nanika o kakuso. So as if hiding something, basically. So looking like... Looking um, like hidden, hiding something. Ore wa, I... Um, I... I... Jo... Jo mae naburi... Yaburi ga... Uh, the breaking of the lock. Dai uh, no toki de... Is my great specialty. Um, ure mae mo... I know Keko is a lot, right, Moni? Yeah, it's a quite. I know a lot of what Udemae mo. A lot, a lot of other skills. Uh, ude Udemae means um just like skill in general. So your skill is quite. It's quite good. My arm is. Even, my even arm. The... Skill is quite, I know quite even other, I don't know how to, it's, it's so hard. It, it is hard. Shirarete is, shirarete is, shirareru is, is the um, passive form. Yep, so to be known. So many skills are known. Mm. Yes, you're right. 
but he used mole here. So even, even other skills are known. So he's saying on top of his great specialties of breaking locks, he also known other skills. Right. Right, Mani? Yes. So as if hiding some... It's a weird sentence. Uh... <laughs> I know other skills. My, yeah. My right? Other than like, well, even... I the one who knows is not ore. Well, I guess the other skills, skills are, are known by known. me. They, yeah. Uh... The mo mark the additional as well. As well. It's so it's like a god, but it's like the mo god. It's like another another subject. So on top of the the breaking locks, like on top of the Jo Mai Yaburi, mm -hmm. there's also Ude Mae Mo. So on top of the original subject, which is the skills, the lock breaking skills, I have Ude Mae. Oh, I see skills. part where my confusion came from. Nani o Kakuso is a idiom. So it means to be frank with you. I was like, I was like, how do we put the nani o kakuso in the sentence? I was like, it looks like something is being hidden. I was like, I don't know. Uh, that makes more sense. To be frank with you, I have great skill with lock picking, and I also, uh, and it's also, I'm, and I, and there's also quite a few skills that I know. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't figure out how this set this part fit into the sentence. I see. So it's an Indian. So he's telling crazy. everybody, how about you let well, me break the lock? Specifically, speed. he's thinking, he's telling us. This is um um uh, the main character, Khan, does not talk very much much. He's kind of just staring at nobody doing this. He's like, you know, to be frank with you, I could probably break the lock, but I'm not gonna say anything. So, uh, at least the not the talking's not really in here yet. This is just what the main character is thinking. He's like, "Yeah, um, I'm a really good lock pick, and I know quite a few quite a few skills are known to me." Hi. Um, and Nebody's having issues with the gate, so it makes sense logically that he would um tell Nebody, but uh, as a spoiler, he's not gonna tell Nebody, not because he doesn't trust Nebody, but he's like, "I think this is a magical gate, so I don't think I can um." open it because maybe it has like magic spells on it rather than lock picking working um but yeah good sentence and I... this is where we'll be ending for the day sorry for not being fully prepared but that was only two sentences <laughs> three sentences I'm... I'm also like super tired. <laughs> I don't know why. Like maybe it's the weekend or something. 